How is everybody? All right. Good, good. All right. So I'm from New York, so I have this accent. You guys don't have accents. I do, right? <laughs> Um, so, they had asked me to give you sort of a brief overview of what we hope to do tonight, and we're going to talk about the perfect pitch deck, and this isn't my perfect pitch deck, so it's, this, as much as I'd like to take credit for what I'm about to present to you, it's not mine. Okay? This is based on a study that was done out of Harvard, in which they looked at 200 startups that had raised a Series A in excess of $2 million, and what they did is they looked at the pitch decks from those 200 startups who had raised money to see what they had in common, okay? So that's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about that study. We're gonna talk about why they've added what they've added to their pitch decks, why they left what they've left out on purpose. Um, and then an overview. Hopefully this will come in and out, but not too badly. Um, if you guys want a copy of the presentation, I will give it to Joel at the end, and then he'll send it on to you. So you guys are welcome to it. Um, but before I go there, I have, let me tell you a little bit about myself, and a little bit about my background, and then I have a couple questions for you, okay? So, <clears throat> I was actually born in Dublin, so I have this EU passport, which allows me to hang out here, which is kind of cool. <laughs> but I grew up in New York, so I have this accent, right? So, um, I was in banking and finance in New York, kind of decided that it was too cold, so I went to Chicago, which was apparently even colder than it was in New York, and one day, I found myself at a meeting at Stanford in California, Palo Alto, in January. It was minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit at home. <laughs> okay, so do the conversion. Uh, really friggin' cold back in Chicago. And it was 70 degrees in California. And I said, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> Why do I live in Chicago? Um, so I went back to my office. We were a venture capitalist and had a venture capital uh, fund at that point in time, and I went back to my office and said, we should be on the West Coast. We need to have a presence on the West Coast. My partners are like, you know, not really, and I'm like, oh no, we do. And it took me about a year or so to convince them that we need to be in California, um, but they finally relented and I moved to California in uh, 2000, and then opened the West Coast office and expanded our venture firm uh, to the West Coast, and we operated in, uh, for a couple more years and then the markets changed and it got ugly and I'll tell you that story later. Um, but I, I was fortunate that I got to work in Silicon Valley as a venture capitalist. And the reason why I'm telling you is I've been on the other side of the table. I've had people pitch to me, I've had people show me their business plans, I've had people send me business plans unsolicited. For the love of God, I have no idea why they would do that, but they do. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> So I can give you the perspective of having been on the other side of the table and listen to these, and I can tell you right away, like, oh no, that's just, you know, that's, don't ever say that. All right, so I'm gonna give you some tips along those lines to give you some ideas as to what we wanna hear and what actually excites us.